I wish this was a joke, but every single year when Apple pushes out a new macOS update, and in this case it's Tahoe, I always find myself really short on storage space and I can't install the new macOS. It wasn't even that long ago when macOS installs were just about 12 gigs or maybe 20 gigabytes, but this year for macOS Tahoe, Apple suggests that you have 35 gigabytes of free storage left over, but supposedly the number is actually way higher than that. So in this video, I'm going to share my experience updating to macOS Tahoe and the steps I took to prepare my Mac for that. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment down below for more Pro Mac tips. So with every single year, I'm learning that the new macOS update takes more and more space. So this time I want to investigate how much this one was going to cost. So when I checked for the installer, it only asked for seven and a half gigs, which was kind of suspiciously low. But just like every other year, that's just the size of the installer of the macOS update. What I looked up beforehand was that the installer for Tahoe was supposed to be around 14 gigabytes and it would need about 20 to 25 gigs of temporary free space and at least 10 gigs for smooth operation after installation. But I think that it will actually need a little bit more than that total. So I think to err on the safer side, you should have about 50 to 70 gigabytes free on your Mac. So that's a lot of space to free up on your computer if you don't already have that. But for myself, I ran this program called Clean My Mac and I ran a scan for system junk and I found a lot of stores that I could be saving from these system caches, log files, old iOS backups, and time machine shadows. That app alone made this process of preparing for this macOS update a lot easier and there is a reason why Clean My Mac is one of Apple's top 25 amazing apps too. If you want to try that program out for yourself, there's a download link in the description box below to get you started on a 7 day free trial. I highly recommend it. So to get a quick visualization on how much storage you have left and what's taking up that space, let's check really quick in our system settings and go to general, then go to storage and you can see this colorful bar that'll show a little bit of a breakdown of your hard drive. So step one to freeing up space on our Mac is is a very simple one restarting our computer. Sometimes the most effective methods are the simplest ones. So go ahead and restart your computer. And you know, sometimes you really do free up some storage that way. I don't know why, but it works. Step number two, remove system junk. I ran the cleanup feature in Clean My Mac and it wiped out gigabytes of old caches, broken login items and app leftovers. I didn't even know were there. Sure, I could have leaded these caches and old files and temporary files all by myself manually, but this tool is way faster. Plus it won't touch anything important. So you don't have to worry about deleting any essential system files. Step number three, Three, delete old iOS backups. So go ahead and plug in your iPhone into your Mac and in the finder, select the device under locations. In the general tab, find the backup section, click manage backups and a list of stored device backups will pop up if you have any. And then you can go ahead and delete the ones you don't even need. Step number four, find duplicate files. Open finder and next to the search bar, select the three dots, then click show search criteria. At the top, change kind to other, then select file size. Set it to is greater than and type 1000 megabytes, which is the same as one gigabyte. And here you can find duplicates of old videos, files, pictures, and videos that you haven't seen in a while. And you could go ahead and delete that and save yourself a lot of space. Step number five, remove old time machine snapshots. Go ahead and open up terminal and type in this command that you see on the screen right now. After you press enter, you may see some old time machine snapshots. And if you want to delete any, you could type in this command right here. So what I learned from updating to Mac OS Tahoe was not really about the update itself, but rather where my storage is even going. And not only did I do it, deep dive into my hard drive, I did one in my cloud storage as well. Now doing a cleanup in our cloud storage is much more annoying than the one that we do in our hard drive. So Clean My Mac also has a tool for that in cloud cleanup. And after a quick scan, it'll show me a visualization of the breakdown of my storage systems. Now I can go in and delete whatever I want through the really simple and easy to understand listing. And honestly, I cannot tell you how much Clean My Mac makes my life so much easier when it comes to clearing out storage and clearing out system junk. That's all I have for you in today's video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video for more Pro Mac tips.